the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lavey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 30 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander and now we produce his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Okay, could take yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to I the am point. very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is gonna are go down right now. Fight. We are underway. All right, so another big spot here for Curtis Razor Blades. And if this fight was happening a few years ago, you would expect an early shot from Curtis Blades. But now that the striking has started to catch up with the wrestling, perhaps Blades will show his opponent a different look here early tonight. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented, powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. And he connects there, Joe. Blades gets the double leg takedown. How good was that? Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Big shot from the bottom. That's a good shot from the bottom. He's in half guard. Just over three minutes to go round one. Nice shot to the head. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's posturing up here. Good shot to the body. Nice hammer fist. Good defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. Tried to move from half control into side control, but can't. And he turns it around into full guard. And there's two minutes to go in the round. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, he gets reversed. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. Half guard here. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. 20 seconds left. And he's softening him up with elbows. Final. 
final seconds of round one. Second Go round, straight ahead. Hey, stop! Okay, listen, I need you to be first. Let's go out there and let's put some good striking combinations together. Here we see a huge shot landed on the ground. There it is again. And here is a thunderous shot landed on the ground. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round on the way. Clean straight punch. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Let me show you the total strikes. Oh, that elbow did some damage. Punch there by Curtis Blades. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. He hit him with the hook. Misses a huge hook to the head. That one hurt. Down here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. Cut, but missed. Getting off some very nice grounded pound here. He's in half guard here. Elbow strike there by Curtis Blades. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nice sweep here. He's got half guard. All right, round three coming up next. Here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Ariane Celeste is holding it down. Third round underway. 
At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Slips the punch. Oh, this could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe, and at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. Look at this. How about that chin? Oh, Huge big left, left hand. hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He moves into full mount. Oh, elbow to the head. Nice punch by Volkov. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he reverses position. Now he's in full mount. Yeah, that did hurt. You saw the wind. Sit right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. With two minutes and change to go in round three. It looks like he's looking for a guillotine choke. He's got that choke locked in tight. He might get it here. Look at this. I think this is it. He got and it. He done. got it. Well done. Nicely done. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number three. To play the winner by tap out, due to a guillotine choke, Curtis Mason! Well, there is a new heavyweight force to be reckoned with. His name is Curtis Razor Blades. Congratulations to Mr. Blades and his team, Team Elevation. Huge result for them here tonight. And a lot of people were wondering, what is the ceiling on Curtis Blades? Might be UFC heavyweight champion after what we saw tonight.